attribute modes. We need to go into the attribute definition dialog box and take a look at our attribute modes. But first we have two methods of how we're going to work. One is if we just have graphics drawn then we can actually go in and just uh, define attributes. But this is already a block. If it's a block then we must go into the block editor. So I'm going to go into the block editor. I'm going to select the particular block and say OK. Now I can modify this block. And so now I can go in and add an attribute definition. The first thing we want to look at is when we define an attribute is the mode, the attribute mode. The first one is invisible. That means we're not going to see the text. Um, you know, there are, we're able to put information into the block that we can access and we can extract, um, but the viewer will not see that information. And there's times when we want to have it visible, and there's times when we want to have invisible, and there's many times when we want to have the block that will have both uh, vari variations of it. We can also set the attribute, the, the smart text, to be in constant. And this way it's always a fixed value for this information. I'm not a big fan of the constant because many things change in life. So therefore, uh, we wouldn't be able to change it. So uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that because I find it, it does change. Verifying an attribute. This is when we put the value in of text that we want. And then AutoCAD is going to ask the question to you again. Is this the correct information? Because maybe you misspelled it. So a lot of times uh, nowadays when we add our email address in online, they'll ask you to add it in again just to verify that you typed it in correctly. That's a verify. So we're asking you to type in the data twice to verify that it's correct. A preset is when we put a default value in when we insert the block into the drawing. So it contains a certain preset value um, and it basically then uh, puts that information into the block right when you insert the block into the drawing. So it's already there for you. Um, I'm a so-so fan on that. Uh, we have other ways that we might want to do that. Lock position. Our attribute is positioned in our block and we might want to um, make sure that it stays in that particular position and don't get moved around because uh, maybe it's very important where that thing sits and so we can lock that position. If we lock it uh, we can't use grip editing and things like that uh, or we can't resize it, move it around later on. Um, so there are cases when we want to lock things and other cases where we allow the user to move things around. Right here I have electric motor symbol. Typically it's just a circle on two lines. And, uh, but a lot of times we have the, the horsepower of the motor right in the middle. Well, if we moved it outside, the viewer wouldn't know that it stood for horsepower because typically always the horsepower is in the middle of the circle. So we might want to lock that to being in the middle of the circle so uh, some other CAD user can't drag it out and move it outside of the circle. And also we have multiple lines. Many times we just have a single attribute like the horsepower. It's just one line of text. If we want multiple lines of uh, text, uh, meaning attribute text, then we can set it to multiple and then we could have things like horsepower. Um, we could have things like manufacture, model, uh, date inspected, you know, date installed, uh, you know, on and on and on. You could probably put 25, 30, 40 things easily about electric motor, you know, its frame size, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, so we will have multiple lines when we have more than one attribute. So essentially, the mode is what we're telling how this piece of text 
is going to end up looking like or acting once we set up the rest of the definition of the attribute.